Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're checking out a new gaming mouse from Glorious. It's called the Model 1. It launched last month, April, and uh, I've heard some pretty good things about this. Uh, so we're going to unbox it, we're going to check out the mouse itself, and then we're going to test it against some games uh, that we typically play and see how it does. I also got this new uh, Glorious grip tape to go along with the mouse and we'll apply it to this and uh, see how that feels as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, let's take a look here. Matte 69 grams black. Check out this box here. It says G Skates Mouse Feet, Extreme Lightweight Gaming Mouse, Ascending Cord, Ideal for Medium to Large Hands. Medium. Customizable Magnetic Side Buttons. And then we have a uh, glorious BAMF sensor, 69 grams. We talked about that already. Number of buttons, nine. Cable type, ascending cord, ultra flexible. Mouse feet type, G-Scapes premium mouse feet. Dedicated DPI indicator, yes, uh, on the bottom of the mouse. Remappable DPI, apparently we need an extra piece of software installed for that. LED color, up to 16.8 million color RGB with eight effects possible. Cool. LED adjustable without software, yes. LED disable feature, yes. That's good in case you don't want to be um, uh, spotted for miles away with your ultra RGB on your mouse. Software compatibility, Windows 7 warranty, two years. And we have some sizes here. All right. Well, let's go ahead and unbox this and check it out. this particular mouse. It came out pretty easily. Oh, okay. Nice plastic insert molded to the mouse itself. So we got the mouse and the cable. And then if we lift this up, okay, it looks like we got some extra buttons maybe. Replaceable. We'll check that out later. Got ourselves a nice uh, glorious PC gaming mouse sticker like that. QR code. And then we've got our quick start guide with some instructions in different languages. Okay. Set that off to the side. All right, let's check out the mouse here. That is really lightweight. I really like that a lot. The cable is nice, and it kind of feels like a, almost a little bit of a braided material. It has this rubber band around it to kind of keep it together. Let's go ahead and undo that. I might just keep that there. It's nice, wow, nice and long, like that. Let's check out the buttons here. Glorious design here. Is it on the other side? No. Let's check out the buttons here. Nice clicking action there, I like that a lot. And I'm guessing these are all programmable. Feels really good in my hand. Nice and light. I don't know, I feel like the wheel here the, the button action on it could be just a little bit deeper, but it, it's okay. And then we'll obviously remove these off here. So this mouse is a uh, plug and play through a USB uh, A port.
And once we plug it into the PC, there might be a driver or two that we need to download. So we'll check that out as well. But so far so good. I really like the feel of this. It molds to my hand really, really well. Uh, the thumb rest here is really nice. I really like that. Fits perfectly to where I can get the buttons here. And then the clicking action here on the two uh, are great. And the wheel feels very, very smooth. It's just I wish the clicking of the uh, button on the wheel itself uh, was a little bit deeper, but that's okay. Feels pretty good. So this mouse is rated for 80 million clicks, which is 30 million clicks uh, more than the average gaming mice, uh, G502 is rated for 50, I believe. Um, so that's good, 30 more than uh, the typical gaming mouse. The plastic uh, on this mouse really feels quite durable. Kind of reminds me of maybe a razor blade, but it feels really sturdy. Um, I, you know, I've heard that it feels cheap to others. To me, I, I feel it's pretty quality in my opinion. Um, I really do like the build of this thing. So, and I like the honeycomb. Um, so that is really nice. But so far, I am really appreciating. Glorious is doing a fantastic job uh, the last couple of years with their uh, putting out really fantastic mice, especially the wireless ones. So um, I didn't think this would be any different, but uh, really nice. So apparently we got these swappable side buttons here and I wanna check that out with one of them at least. So let's go ahead and take that off. Oh, okay. Okay, it's held in there by a magnet and it looks like a little bit of a clip. Let's see if we can get one of these guys here. Uh, too big. Let's check it out. They're not really labeled. You have to kind of eyeball it. And these buttons right here are a little more prominent. They stick out a little bit more uh, than the ones that came with the mouse already uh, installed. So uh, let's check this out here. Nope, wrong way. Ooh. Yeah, so it does stick out a little bit more. So it depends on your preference. Ooh, I kind of like that actually. You know what? I think I am going to switch all these out for the kind of the ones that are a little more prominent and they stick out a little bit more. Okay, after <laughs> struggling with getting these buttons uh, to come off, I, I have to clarify my last statement is only two of them are interchangeable, but you get six uh, buttons that are re that you can replace these buttons with and uh, they're just different degrees of protrusion through from the mouse. So anyway, uh, now that that is uh, squared up, we can move on. The power rating on this mouse is five volts, uh, 200 MA, in case you wanted to know something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the grip tape for this particular model. And the grip tape we bought uh, separately. So just to let you know. All right. Okay, let's apply some of this. So I put the grip tape on and I just put it on the triggers here and the side. I didn't want to cover up the logo because I just think that's really cool. And I didn't want to cover up the honeycomb portion of this back end here of the mouse. So anyway, but it looks really nice. Um, it gives it kind of a, I don't know, uh, a even better feel in my opinion. Nice, feels a little rubbery, nice grip. Uh, even down here where my thumb rests, I, I actually like it. It enhances uh, the mouse to be honest with you. So that's great. So I got this mouse hooked up to my razor blade uh, laptop and we're just checking out the RGB here on the sides and on the wheel itself. You know, I thought there might be some RGB in here in the honeycomb, but there isn't. It's just uh, the three different spots here. And obviously, you know, uh, well, it's not obvious, but uh, apparently you can change the colors 
um, and there's quite a few options and uh, different ways you can uh, set this up so uh, that's great so we got this mouse for about sixty dollars US uh, without tax here's some other products you can get um, to enhance that this mouse and then it talks a little bit about the weight you can switch the colors here there's a white and a black color we got the black color three zone RGB like we talked about before and then it talks about the number of buttons nine buttons um, 80 million clicks we talked about that already uh, DPI range 100 to 19,000 then we got some default DPI settings here and then we have dedicated DPI indicator yeah it's on the bottom of the mouse and the remappable DPI buttons and that requires the software and I downloaded the software but I couldn't get it to launch for some reason I tried a number of times uninstalled reinstalled and still had problems so unfortunately we we're not going to go through that um, Ascended cord, ultra flexible. We looked at that. It's USB A 2.0 connector. Uh, so you can come out here and check these out, and maybe you'll have better uh, luck installing the software on your laptop or desktop, whatever it is. But uh, there you go. Let's do some gaming. Check this out. See how it responds. So we're going to try our uh, luck at some aim labs here with the new mouse and just see how we fare. The Glorious PC Gaming Mouse Model 1. Really like it. Um, it's uh, the hard plastic. It's very durable. I like the RGB. It's understated. Um, and the grip tape itself uh, is really nice and has a really nice feel to it. You know, I'm sitting here closing my hand around the mouse and pushing on it as much as possible. And there's absolutely no give whatsoever. So it is definitely a durable mouse and for 59 bucks without tax you can't go wrong um, so I really like it I my uh, daily gaming mouse is the Razer Viper the 8k and uh, I really like this mouse but I gotta be honest with you I might be trading up anyway uh, there you go if you like this video Go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Helps the channel. Not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.